LED masks have been around for decades, since before I was even an esthetician. I remember going into the dermatologist's office when I was struggling with my acne and laying under those huge $16,000 panels to get an LED light treatment. But recently, specifically over like the last year, the conversation about LED devices, specifically those at home, has taken off. But first, we need to talk about the actual benefits of LED and, and why everyone, and your mom, and your mom's best friend, and your mom's best friend's boyfriend's dogs, babysitters, sex and divorced uncle is talking about red light, blue light, and LED masks. Again, LED is not a new technology. It stands for light emitting diode, and it's also known as phototherapy. It's basically using light to treat the skin. And we specifically know that red light and blue light are extremely helpful for two different reasons. There have been countless studies done on collagen induction therapy. Basically, your skin having the ability to create more of the strong stuff, the collagen, and the stretchy stuff, elastin, when it is exposed to the correct wavelengths of red LED light. We also know that blue LED light, which has a much shorter wavelength, can actually help to kill acne bacteria and has been shown to clear skin. There are also other light modalities and therapies, and sometimes you have masks that combine red and blue like this one does, or sometimes you have ones that have like green or amber, but really it's the red and the near infrared light, that red light that is most beneficial for helping with fine lines in the skin. And then there is that blue light, which is most beneficial to help control some acne bacteria in the skin. While these LED treatments are medically fantastic, a lot of people didn't hear about them because you couldn't use them at home. Again, I vividly remember being 16 and going to the dermatologist and struggling with my skin. And the dermatologist put me under these huge panels and I remember asking her how much they cost. And she said that they were $16,000. There's no way you can take something home and do that treatment at home, so you had to pay a professional. But now there are so many different LED masks on the market, some that are actually really good and others that are complete scams. There's also the issue of uneven light distribution, meaning that when you put an LED mask on, it's not actually dispersing light evenly the way you need it to. Or there's the issue of eye protection. And we actually have some research that shows that red LED might actually be beneficial to the eyes but it's better to be safe than sorry. And so for the time being, the doctors and derms that I've worked with and spoken with always recommend eye protection. And I think you need to find an LED mask that has that eye protection. Not to mention some LED masks, specifically really cheap ones, get hot. And while that's not a bad thing for everyone, it can actually cause major issues for certain people. And this is what no one is talking about when it comes to LED. And also if you want the benefits of red or blue LED, how you can use that without potentially causing this damage, especially if you have one of these skin conditions that makes you more susceptible. It's from a vacuum company and I have been testing it out for like the last four months. And I want to tell you my full experience, especially because I've tried a lot of LED devices and I have a favorite LED device that is under like $150. Then I have a favorite that's under 500 and then if you've got $5,000 to spend, I have a favorite one for that budget range too. But at the end of the day, I need something that's going to be effective, that's going to be safe and easy to use, especially for the eye area and that doesn't shock my face. I need something that is portable that I can carry around, that I can go do other things and work on the computer or do laundry while I'm doing my skincare treatment, especially if I'm going to do it every day. And it needs to be something that's worth the time and money for me without causing additional harm. Now this is from Shark Beauty, but you might I have known Shark for their vacuums. I literally have a Shark vacuum and I was hearing doctors and dermatologists talk about this back in December and I was like, wait a minute, Shark, like the vacuum cleaner company? <laughs> Shark has actually been making beauty tools and beauty products, including hair products that I'm genuinely obsessed with and they are shockingly good for the right people. Not to mention, I found out that Shark didn't just go and create, you know, a beauty tool or an LED face mask. They actually worked with board certified dermatologists to create this. And not only was this made with derms, but this is FDA cleared as an LED light therapy device for red light and near infrared light for helping collagen and elastin stimulation, but also for reducing acne. And I have to say, as I've been trying it out, it's actually insane how this product works. I kind of feel like this is the Tesla of LED face masks based on my experience with it so far. So this is the Shark Beauty Cryo Glow. And I first saw this and I was like, oh, is this just another copy paste of the scammy phantom looking one? Or is it just a copy paste of that green one that everyone's using? And then I started to look at the features and I heard about the derms that were talking about it. And I started to try it. 
and I saw that the price was $370 instead of $500 or $900, and I decided I'm giving this a try. Now there's a couple things that this mask has that I have not seen anywhere else, specifically the cryotherapy right here. It has these two little metal pads in the under eye area that have three different settings of coolness. So while you're doing your red LED or your blue LED or a combination of the red and blue, which is called IQ LED, you're actually able to cool your under eye area. And this has like, I think it has a built-in fan or something. Like I kind of hear it whirring when it's on, which I don't hear from other LED masks, but it literally feels cool on the skin. And it actually works shockingly well without shocking my face like that crappy one that I bought off the internet five years ago. Now this does come with additional little panels that you can pop on, but I find that it's comfortable with or without them. I don't really need them. And the other thing about this mask that I love is how comfortable it is. It comes with this head strap that doesn't slip down. Anyone who's watched this channel knows that I love other LED masks that go on the face that have like an opening for the mouth, but they have like this jock strap on the back of the head. Um, and I literally like stretched mine out and then I lost mine and like fell off. This is different because it actually has this strap on top of the head. It's a very thick strap and it is super comfortable to use. Not to mention on the inside, it also has these red and blue lights that are slightly separated from the skin by this layer of plastic. And this is fantastic because it means that the light is distributed evenly across the skin. Shark actually worked with these derms to actually see how does their mask compare to others. And you can see that certain masks that are much less expensive have kind of these pinpoint areas uh, that hit the skin, whereas the Shark Cryoglow one evenly distributes that light on the skin. Red light is like the 650 to the 830 nanometer range. And red light has a very long wavelength in comparison to other light. If you've ever shown a flashlight like through your hand, have you noticed that the only color is red? That's not because your hand has blood in it. Or if you do it to your ear, it's not because your ear has blood in it. It's because the red light has the longest wavelength and it's the only color that can actually penetrate through your skin. Whereas your skin is absorbing all the other colors. And that also means that when you're using red LED, whether it's a very advanced LED mask or it's a very cheap one, that red LED can probably penetrate and cover the entire face. But when it comes to acne treatment, that blue wavelength is really, really short in comparison. And if you're using a face mask that only has these little pinpoint areas and isn't lifted off the skin, you're only getting the benefits of blue LED on like these little polka dots on your face. And this is why I think a lot of people have really felt that LED masks have been a scam if they're using it for acne. Because if you're using a blue LED mask for acne and it is one of the ones that just gives you like the polka dot look, which again, you can't see, this is all happening beyond what we're able to visualize unless you are doing specific studies, which would be really hard to conduct at home. But if you are not getting those acne reducing results from blue LED and you are using one of those pinpoint ones, that might be the reason. You need something that's actually going to disperse that light as evenly as possible. And for those really small wavelengths like blue, this is essential. And again, Shark did studies actually showing that their mask, because it's lifted off the face and it has the right wavelengths and it's powerful enough, it actually coats and distributes this blue LED wavelength and the purple, which is a combination of the red and blue. And it distributes all of those evenly so that you're actually getting a full treatment not to mention the actual comfort. This has pads on the inside that feel like heaven. These are super cushy and they coat the eyes almost like almost like a squeegee, I guess. And they block the light. Whereas there are other shell or hard top LED masks that don't actually cover and coat the eyes as well. This is something that if I put this on and if I strap it in, and then I turn it on to run a treatment, you can barely see the LED lights through this. And then also when I take it off, it auto dims. When it's on the face, it lights up and brightens up more. And when you take it off, it auto dims and goes down in intensity. So it's not blasting your vision with this LED light. And again, like the technology behind this is actually crazy, especially for the price point that they're bringing it to us at. I don't know if that's like a fan or if that's a motor or if that's just the cooling apparatus, but it literally cools down to the touch. And this is the cryo glow mode, cryo meaning cooling mode and you can turn it on or off depending on what you're interested in or you can choose three different settings for it and i've used rollers i've used arnica gels i've used you know face masks that you put in the freezer in the fridge and i found some things that are very effective but this is something that puts it into the led mask treatment 
best. But also for those who actually struggle with redness in the skin or hyperpigmentation in the skin, this is phenomenal because it literally cools the under eyes and it doesn't actually get hot, unlike a lot of the less advanced LED light devices do. What's also insane about this is the screen. Again, this screen, it looks like the futuristic inside of an electric vehicle. <laughs> like if you've ever tried to navigate in the iPad screen in the cars, this is that for a face mask. And what I love about this is that it's not overwhelming with a bunch of different settings, but it literally shows you different routines based on what you might need. My personal favorite setting is the Skin Sustain. And this combines the red LED light that helps with fine lines, as well as the blue LED light that helps with acne. And the best thing is that it's only four minutes, <laughs> so I can do it really fast. So I can actually do it with the under eye cooling. And while you're running any of the routines, you can actually choose, do you want the under eye cooling to be a uh, level one, level two, or level three? Kind of like, again, seat warmers in your car, but for cooling on your under eyes. And it is like, the futuristic electric vehicle for skincare and LED devices. But I also really like the better aging one. And this is the red and near infrared LED one. But also look at this. They're literally calling it better aging instead of anti-aging. I mean, when it comes to our beauty routines and our beauty rituals, we are constantly bombarded with negative messaging about our images. We're constantly being told that we're too much and simultaneously not enough, and we're not doing enough to our skin and we need to do more. And then also we're doing too much to our skin. But the fact that they're calling this better aging because that's what they're doing instead of shaming or blaming us for a natural biological process that happens on our face. Like, I freaking love that. Also, did you just see it literally shuts off and it says, see you tomorrow. So if you forget to turn off your LED device, it does it automatically for you. And it doesn't have like a million modes and it doesn't have a million things that you have to go through. It literally has your routines, again, red light for eight minutes or blue light for eight minutes or the combination or just the under eye cooling. You can do it without anything else. It shows you how many cycles you've actually done so that you can keep track of how this actually works in your routine. And that's the biggest thing is that LED or any skincare is a marathon, not a sprint. Meaning if you don't keep up with it and if you don't do it regularly, it's not gonna work for you. I think that this is one of the most advanced remotes, but I will say it's a little bit heavier than some of the other ones that I've used, but look at what it has. Cassandra's favorite little clip. So I can literally clip this to myself and walk around and do my stuff throughout the day. And again, it's comfortable and it has an opening for the mouth. So I can actually stay hydrated and sippy sip my drinky drink. I mean, I don't recommend eating food in your LED masks because it can get really messy really fast. Trust me, I have tried. But if you wanna sip sip, if you wanna stay hydrated both orally and topically, or you're getting ready in the morning, you're in a rush. Again, my favorite session is the four minute session with the cryotherapy. And then I could sip my little antioxidant drink slap on some sunscreen and I'm ready to go. They also have done studies that shows that this visibly tightens the under eyes. And again, there are some things that cost, you know, near a thousand dollars that I love. Like, don't get me wrong, bang for your buck, it's good, but those are expensive. And there is a device that I know of that's like under 150 that's really good, but it is much cheaper. And if you run that on like a 20 minute cycle, it does get warm. And for people who do struggle with hyperpigmentation, you would not want to use something that heats up the skin like that because it's better to be safe than sorry. Whereas this is something that was made with derms, again, it's FDA cleared, and it literally has this InstaChill technology, as well as the IQ LED technology that spreads and disperses this evenly over the skin. Like, they are a vacuum company, but they thought of everything. And I'm not gonna lie, especially for the price for 375, 380, like, this is mind blowing to me. And I'm surprised that they're not charging more for this, genuinely. They've also done studies with those doctors and derms on actual people. And they show that by using this every day and going through those routines that are built into this, that you can have clearer skin in four weeks and firmer skin in two months. Now, that was based on the people they tested. That doesn't mean it's gonna work that way for everyone. And even my before and afters, they're good, but I, it took me a little bit longer than two months, but it has quickly risen in the ranks of where I feel about LED devices. And for that mid-level range, it is one of the best that you can buy. Like this compares to some of them, like the, the big ones that cover your entire face and don't even have that little mouth piece opening that strap across your head. Those are like $900. This fantastic for LED. And the fact that it has this cryotherapy, this cooling technology, I have never seen an LED face mask like this. They call this the under eye revive technology. And again, you have these built-in ones or 
you can add these little extras for comfort and fit. And at the same time, all of these beauty things can be overwhelming. I work in this industry and I love these conversations. I love this industry, so I love talking about it. But like, if you have 500 options for colors and you don't know what the green LED light does, or if you have like 50 options for routines for like microcurrent devices, which I've experienced before, ones that you can't even set up, it's so frustrating. This, when I first got it back in like December, you literally peel off the stickers, you charge it, you plug it in, you press play, and you choose of like one of four modes. And there's like only three buttons and there's like four different settings. So you're not overwhelmed because beauty shouldn't be overwhelming. It should be enhancing your everyday routine and something that you enjoy. I personally believe that it should be a choice, not a chore. And I was not expecting to love this as much as I do especially the fact that it's made with derms and um, it's FDA cleared. And the fact that this comes from a vacuum brand, genuinely mind blown. I feel like it's the electric vehicle of LED masks. And for that mid-range price, it is one of the best masks I have ever seen on the market that includes so many things like the cryotherapy that I've never seen before in an LED mask. If you'd like to get this, there's a link in the description that I'm happy to leave for you. But I want you to research this. I want you to research the LED that you're using on yourself or others if you're a trained professional. And I want you to find things that actually work for you. And I'm a huge proponent of turning and learning your skincare ingredients so that you can feel like empowered by your beauty. But the same thing goes for tools. And I want you to know the right wavelengths and how they work so that we can get excited about the physics of our skincare and how they work and how to make them work for us. So that also means go look at the studies that they did. They're actually fantastic studies. Go learn about those things. And if you have questions, either bring those studies to your doctor or derm or bring this video to your doctor or derm or send it to them if you can. And if you don't have a derm that does that, um, it's hard, but I do have some recommendations on amazing derms that genuinely care about your health and well-being. And leave a comment. There's so many smart skin intellectuals in the comment section that I found are here to help each other and honestly have been so helpful to me, especially as I've been struggling for the past six months and like genuinely the past two years. And um, it's so amazing. It's why I started this channel 16 years ago when I was struggling with my acne, crying on the living room floor about the need to cover up my skin before I left the house every day. And when I figured out that it was okay to have acne and it was okay to embrace my skin. I was able to connect with other people online in a way that I couldn't in person. And that community was life-changing for me. And I realized that even though I've overcome my own acne, even if I still break out or I found things that work for me, that community still exists. And even when I've struggled or disappeared and needed a hiatus, you've been there for me. And I also know that there are still people who are there for you. Or if you're a skin intellectual, there are people there who maybe want your help or your camaraderie. So meet a friend in the comments. Let me know what questions you have about this or about LED in general. And I'm so excited this exists. I'm gonna go drive my electric car version of an LED face mask and I'm going to reapply my sunscreen. I've been really active in some of these other places almost every single day. So feel free to come say hello, maybe visit me over here. And um, I can't wait to see you soon. And remember that I love you and I appreciate you. Be beautiful both inside and out. And I cannot wait to see you in the next video. <sighs> love you guys. Bye.